Hey everybody, this is Tanya Lux and I'm the Product Marketing Manager for Corel Painter 2017. I would like to take you through the process of painting with textures over your flattened 3D models. I'm going to come up to the brush selector and we have two different new brush categories for you to work with. The first one is texture cover and I'll go ahead and select this and we've got an airbrush right now and if we take a look at the property bar, property bar actually offers us the opportunity to switch our texture on the fly here. We can also launch the full texture painting palette. Now I'm going to select, we'll just go ahead with this desk paint texture. And when I begin to paint, this particular texture and the texture cover brush category does exactly as the name implies. It covers everything that is underneath it on your canvas. We have all different kinds of brushes for you to work with. So if you don't want to just bring in a direct texture, um, we can start to play with some of the other options such as a grainy brush. And if we look at the texture painting panel over here, you can make adjustments on the fly. So right now we've got our strength at 100, which is great, and all of these new visual tooltips will allow you to see visually what's going to happen before you begin painting on the canvas. I also have color control selected right now, and what that means is that it's going to use the current color in the color wheel. If you don't want to do that, just uncheck that, and then it will paint with the colors from the original image. So let me zoom in here so that you can see what's happening. Now because I have a grainy type of brush, you're actually seeing that grainy texture exhibited within the stroke. And I'm zoomed in quite a bit here, so let's, let's zoom out just a little bit. So you can experiment with the variety of options that we have here. So now we've got a dynamic speckle, and it's going to be pulling in the, the yellow color, and you can see the, the bristles on the end of the stroke. Um, so this is pretty neat, the ability to select the texture of your choosing and then to use painter's brushes to bring those textures into your work. Let's go ahead, we'll maybe do one more here, a static bristle. And we've got that filled in with a, you know, kind of a funky background. So if I go ahead and zoom out for you, you can see what we've got going there. So now let's move on to the second type of brush category. And I will select my secondary layer here and we'll begin to work on the, the foreground of the image. And I'm going to go to my texture source blending. Texture source blending is going to respect the lighting of this original 3D model and allow me to paint textures on top of the model, but you'll still be able to see the model underneath it. So let's start to paint the helmet here. And I can take a look at the textures in the library. You're not limited to just these textures that we have provided you with. And I don't see anything that I really want to use on the helmet. So what I'm going to do is import a texture to work with. And this could be anything, a photo that you took, a stock photo, anything you find online that might inspire you. Once I have that texture in, I can show the texture on the canvas. And depending upon where you captured that texture, the size of it, you may need to make adjustments. So by showing the texture, I can see its placement on my canvas. I can also come down to transform the texture. So if I wanted to move it or scale it, rotate it, you can also skew. So depending upon you know the project you're working on, the model you have, you may want to apply a variety of these adjustments to your texture. Once you are done doing that, you need to commit and then it will save those adjustment settings so that you can paint using those. I'm going to go ahead and turn off show texture and right now we're using a basic color control brush and I'm just going to lightly begin to paint in part of the helmet here and with this color control what's going to happen is as I begin to paint over more and more of the texture so if I lift my stylus for instance and I come back I can begin to accentuate certain areas of that texture and bring it out even more. So this is, you know, pretty much painting with the direct texture but respecting the lighting that we have in the original model. 
So just like the texture cover, you have a variety of brushes that you can use to paint your textures in. So if I want to do something like a speckled overlay, let's go ahead and try this one. And we've been painting with the colors or the physical texture itself. You can also choose a color of your own liking. So if we take a look up here under color control, it's going to paint with the current color and maybe I'll switch this to a little bit of a different color. So now with this brush, um, you know, this is where painter comes into play. I've got a brush that's very bristly, but it's still bringing that texture in. I'm going to go ahead and undo this. Now let's try out some of the less traditional straight texture painting tools. If I use something like the stencil flow map, and we actually launch the flow map panel, I can choose a flow map texture and mix it with the texture that we have been painting with. And maybe at this point in time, why don't we bring in another texture to work with? And we'll take a look at this. Perfect. So now when I come out and begin to paint, um, I'm going to turn off the color control so that it paints with the colors from the original. And this is pretty interesting. So it's pulling based on whatever flow map texture that you select. It's bringing the texture in based on the flow map. And you can mix and match different flow maps together um, to achieve the effect that you're going for. So this I'm creating quite the, the funky painted model here. Let's finish things off by choosing maybe a grainy stencil type of brush. So I'm going to go to the stencil texture grainy dab and I'm going to also switch my texture. There's a really nice veins texture that is included in the default library and I'll turn, actually I'll leave color control on and we'll mix up a little bit of a, a purple color here and we'll start to paint his face. And I like this particular brush because it is very subtle, so I have a lot of control over it. It gives me a little bit of a grainy texture with the brush itself, and then it mixes that along with the texture that you're incorporating. And as I begin to brush over and over a certain area, you see now that vein is coming out maybe a little bit more than I might like in that particular area. So you can control your pressure with this brush and also control how much of the texture is exhibited. So I'll come over and make that just a little bit lighter there. Now just to remind you, the more you go over a texture, the more it's going to be exhibited. So you have full control over that. Um, I'll go ahead and size my brush down and we'll paint his lip in here. And then just to show you a few more of the options, if we come up here, um, a scumble. So this is going to, you know, incorporate painters traditional media into that brush. It's doing that scumbly sort of texture. So you've got all kinds of really fun brushes to play around with, experiment with. And I hope this was a good introduction for you on how to get started with texture painting your models. Happy painting. Thank mm -hmm. you.